Prayer for Freedom from Condemnation by Meg Booker, read by Leah Martin. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Romans 8 1. Wow, my oldest daughter mused over her lunch. This peanut butter and jelly sandwich is really good. From the time the child could chew, she's been a picky eater. Once her teeth grew in, she ate an apple for lunch every single day. But when it came time for kindergarten, I flipped through parenting magazines in search of a sandwich she would settle in on alongside her daily apple. We compromised on a s'morewich, graham crackers, marshmallow, and hazelnut spread. Seven years later, she discovered the simple joy of PB&J in her own time, and I was left convicted. We have a tendency to default to condemnation or criticism, even though Paul reminds us in today's verse, Romans 8, 1, that we are free in Christ. The Moody Bible Commentary explains, condemnation here especially focuses upon the believer's freedom from the crippling power of sin in this life. Jesus died to release us from all guilt and shame, to free us from the sin that so easily entangles us. Romans 6.14 says, The Christian is no longer under the law. So what does it mean to be in Christ? True believers are in Christ because they've died with Christ and have been raised to new life with Him. The Moody Bible Commentary states, Those who believe in Christ have the unparalleled privilege of living life in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, through the medium of his sacrificed body, pronounced judgment on sin and broke its power. So let's pray to have patience with our children and with each other. But let's also pray for the strength to resist shame and guilt when we make mistakes, misunderstand, or becoming convicted of a close-minded view. Father, we tend to set the bar so high for ourselves and fall into feelings of failure when we don't meet our own unrealistic expectations. We do this to ourselves and to others. The world puts so much pressure on us and it truly is painful in a multitude of ways we confess that we compare ourselves to others and hold ourselves to standards that are unrealistic and unnecessary the truth is we fail daily to meet your standard but by your grace through faith we're saved from our sins Free us from condemnation, for there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Guide our efforts to align with your will, Lord. Let all we do, all of our strivings, be intended to bring glory and honor to your great name, not to achieve a worldly standard or comparative status. Teach us how to live fully in the freedom of our faith, Fill our hearts with patience, Father. Search our hearts and renew a right spirit in them. Let us see through your eyes who we are, your children. Give us your perspective and open our ears to hear the godly voices of wisdom and encouragement you have purposefully placed in our lives. Remove our worry and replace it with reminders of the peace we have in our Savior, Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.